Hello everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jordan and I'm now, by some miracle, a second year medical student at the University of Lincoln. And today I thought I would talk to you all about getting into medical school through clearing. One of the questions I've heard a lot and I remember thinking it myself is, can you actually get into medicine through clearing? Do medical schools go into clearing? Yes, absolutely, they do go into clearing and you can get in through clearing. It's how I got into medical school. However, on that note, I have looked at the Medic Portal's website prior to recording this video. And at the time of me recording it, there are no medical schools due to go into clearing to September 2021 entry. That's not to say they will not go into clearing when results actually come out but just be aware that there will be significantly less medical schools in clearing this summer, if any at all. In the event that no medical schools go into clearing, take a look at alternative routes into medicine or even think about taking a gap year. However, assuming that medical schools are going into clearing this summer, how do you actually prepare for it? How do you make sure that you come out with a space to start at medical school in September? The first thing to do night before is get prepared with all of the information. Your UCAS ID, your UCAT score, BMAT score, even your GCSEs. Make sure you have all that information ready so that when you get asked it, you can just pass over that information and fingers crossed, be able to call up the next medical school. Because if there are multiple schools going into clearing, contact as many as you can before that space is filled. And also make sure that your phone is on charge the night before because you will need it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will definitely need it. And also take a look at making sure you have another device for charging because that way you can be on your phone calling the medical schools, looking up on another device which medical schools are actually in clearing and getting that contact information and maybe even having a pen and paper beside you to write down their phone numbers. It's exactly what I did. So I just had a list of phone numbers and I was just calling them one after another. So we've managed to get through, we've given the medical schools all of our information, what happens next? Hopefully you get offered an interview. What I will say is that during clearing, everything moves incredibly quickly. For me, my results day was on the Thursday, I was on the phone to them Thursday morning, and I was in Lincoln by 10 o'clock, well, for an interview at 10 o'clock Saturday morning and I had an offer Sunday morning. It was incredibly quick. So just be prepared that plans that you may have will have to be changed if you get offered an interview. So we've been offered the interview. How am I preparing? Prepare exactly as you would have prepared for your first interviews or interviews you would have had a normal cycle. And if you didn't have any interviews, hopefully you had done some preparation just in case. Just practice, make sure you know things like the four pillars, you know, patient autonomy, things like that, look into ethics, generic interview preparation. I don't know how medical schools are going to be doing interviews this year, whether or not they're going to be online or in person, but just be aware to do your interviews just as you would have done before. Make sure that you address smartly, professionally, and maintain a professional manner whilst talking to the interviewers, but do not change who you are. Still be yourself because they are still assessing whether or not you as a person would be a good fit for their medical school and for the medical profession. Apart from all the make sure you have your information, make sure you've prepared for interviews, what else can you actually do? Really a lot of it is just making sure you're looking after yourself. Try and remain calm. If you have seen my clearing horror story video, you will know that I did not remain calm and I psyched myself out at every given opportunity. Don't do that, it's really not good. It made my whole situation so much more stressful than it already was. It wasn't, it wasn't good. But clearing, if you see yourself in clearing, it is not the end of the world. There is still a chance of you getting a space at medical school, as I can be proof of. So do not feel disheartened if you see yourself in clearing. And if you do find yourself in clearing and have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments get in touch with me through Instagram, anything like that. And if you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like it. And hopefully you go and get yourself a space at medical school and I will be doing videos in the next few weeks talking about what I wish I'd known before I started medical school and how best to prepare for your first year of medical school. So if you want to see them, 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.